Ayan mga vlogs after lunch natin At uh, still snowing So Magbawas uh, naman tayo ng konting snow Gawa tayo ng pathway Dito Ayun kung na na ano na ba yung ano yung basura na collect na ata Ayan. ito yung uh, boots na ano pang makapala na snow ah, yan yun na natin so ayan hirap pa i ano ipagulong dahil makapal na yung snow Siguro mga more than 10 centimeters to. Mga 5-6 inches siguro. Ayan ah. Nagalit ang, uh, ang nature kasi hindi tayo binigyan ng snow nung, nung ano, December. So January, February ang, ang kalakasan ng snow. Ayan ang ah. so, ito yung ating... Uh, saksakan para sa black heater ayun ayun nga pala ka vlogs uh, natin ng part uh, oil 2T oil for the uh, 2 cycle kasi siya eh. so may oil tapos gas uh, compliments binili ko kay uh, Jericho Celeste yung nagkukumpuni ng mga mga snowblower tsaka yung mga lawnmower shoutout kay Jericho Coleste no? tsaka sa tatay niya si Kajay Pong TV keep vlogging man so yeah ayan i-check nyo tsaka nang ni Kajay Pong TV Ayan mga vlogs, taas lang natin mag snowblower Yung mga, at saka pinainit natin itong sedan ah, Hindi natin ginagamit ito ngayon Dahil nga, mababa Ayan yung ating snow blower, snow blower. Pero maya maya, mag ano pa rin ito eh ah, Hanggang dun, para may daanan yung renter sa ano dun nag park muna ako dun sa gilid para yung dyan o ma snowblow ko rin yan yan yung snowblow natin tsaka dito dito kasi ito hindi spalto so may mga gravel sya parang hinuhukay nya yung gravel eh so ah, hindi ko muna in ano yan sa renter naman yan eh parking ano renter eto ayaw mag-start nitong truck natin eh dahil uh, ewan ko magka-crank siya pero ayaw mag uh, mag-start yeah, baka yung fuel pump or, or walang gas na lumadaloy sa spark yeah. ayan na muna ayan mga vlogs binalik muna natin yung parking engine para hindi sagabal sa ano sa snow machine na maglilinis ng daan maya maya siguro busy sila ngayon yung renter pala eh sa yun ang trabaho no? busy siya sa kaya meron siyang shop uh, busy siya sa, ano, sa winter pagka ganito pag summer eh papetics petics lang siya eh. so yan seasonal yung trabaho niya pero on time lagi siya magbayad yun ang mahalaga <laughs> ay mga vlogs Meron na akong uh, andito sa ano Explore Immigration Programs dito sa Canada.ca. Ayan, it only take a minute. So, it's a good uh, way of doing things if you want to immigrate to Canada. So, what do you want to do in Canada? Just say work. And next, uh, what do you want? Do you want to work permanently or temporarily in Canada? Uh, say tempor uh, permanently, right? And then next, fluent in English or French. So, it's English. 
do you have work experience? I guess, yeah, pag may trabaho ka sa Pilipinas, may work experience ka, no? So, yes. Uh, what kind of work will you do in Canada? This one, I would uh, say both of these, right? So, it'll give you options. Yeah, yan. So, na, ayaw. Ayan. Both of these, and then next. And then, so now, medyo naglalag, ayan. So yung mga results, based on your answers, here are some programs you may be interested in. This program for agri-food pilot, para sa mga, ano, ayan, at uh, ang fees niya is 1,365. You don't need to go to to agency to use all this so tapos you could see if you can find out if you're eligible just go there and then uh, this could be you if you have a qualifying one year or qualifying Canadian work experience um, can communicate in English or French have a least secondary school high school credential so high school lang ang ano lang dun no? hindi masyado mataas hindi kailangan ng um, college diploma. Ito rin isa Atlantic Immigration Program. So, processing fees 1,365 for skilled workers and international graduates to work and live in an Atlantic province. Ito yung nasa east. Um, yung mga Newfoundland, ganyan. Uh, Labrador. Si Pins, Pins TV, taga dun. Um, you have one year experience in an eligible or industry unless you start unless you studied in an Atlantic province. Sa so, mga international student na nandun na, this is a good opportunity na if you switch to this after you graduate or or you can get an employer to sponsor your permanent residency, no? Tapos may, meron din economic mobility pathway pilot. Ayan na, no, ang dami. Uh, vary by program. So, fees. May mga fees sila na government na mismo ang magsasabi sa iyo kung magkano hindi yung agency so you don't need to go to agency just do a DYI this could be you if you are a refugee or displaced person have some work experience meet all other eligibility requirements depending on how you apply so yan um, kung nasa say nasa uh, Ukraine kayo or something skilled refugees no uh, na may skill so, yan, pwede nyong applyan yan. Um, ito rin, express entry Canadian experience class for skilled workers who have Canadian work experience. So, ito sa mga mostly sa uh, temporary foreign worker, no? May, may Canadian work experience nila, I think, one year. So, they could apply for express entry, uh, 1,365 ang, ang fee. Uh, I don't know how much before, but uh, it, at least one year qualifying experience experience in Canada in the last three years. And you can communicate in class in English or French. The Canadian experience class one or three express entry programs. Express entry is an online application system for skilled workers. Yan sa mga supervisor ng food service, ganyan. Mga skilled worker yung mga yan. So, tsaka Hanapin nyo lang, i-research nyo kung anong class ang, ang skilled, ang cook, ganyan, uh, skilled worker din yan. Yan, uh, ito, Express Entry Federal Skilled Trade Program. Yan, sa mga mekaniko, processing times, hindi nila, not enough data. And are qualified in skilled trade, have at least 2 years of qualifying work experience in the last 5 years. Have a job offer or certificate of qualifying if you are a skilled worker. Can, can can communicate in English or French. So, English or French, no? Sa atin, uh, mostly English naman yan, eh. So, yan. Um, may isa pa, Express Entry Federal Skilled Worker Program. Yun na ba yan? Express Entry Federal Skilled Pro Trades Program. Tapos, Skilled Worker Program. At least one year of qualifying skilled work experience. Uh, yan, no? Skilled work, skilled workers. Yan, kailangan ng mga skilled worker dito sa Canada, no? Mga teachers, ganyan. Mga skilled workers, uh, nurses. Ito rin, home child cares. 
child care provider direct to permanent residence category. Ito dati ata yung um, ito ata yung fee is the Lamia. Uh, this is for home child care provider. Ito yung sa mga nani program nun. Uh, iba na yung pangalan uh, dati uh, like Nani, nani program ang tawag eh. Ngayon is home child care provider. Direct to permanent residency category. Pero kailangan mo rin ata mag-take ng ano dito eh. Kasi uh, IELTS. Ayan. Home child care provider gaining experience category. Ito rin. Same, same as that. 1085. Yung fee. 12 months of qualifying work experience in Canada. Uh, tapos ito home support worker ito yung mga healthcare aid ganyan yan mga um, nurses or sa mga sa senior uh, homes uh, yan so kailangan nila ng mga ganyan no? permanent residence pathway for Hong Kong residents Canadian work experience ayan din Hong Kong residents in Canada who have work experience uh, Hong Kong residents or Hong Kong residents for workers nominated by a province or a territory to support their economy provincial nominee program then 1385 processing time 14 months yung mga nomination from a Canadian province or territory meet the work experience and education requirements for the province can communicate in English or French. So, ayan. Um, startup visa program. Pinakahuli dito. 2,140. If you have a qualifying business, can communicate in English or French. Have enough money to settle in Canada. Ayan ang mga investor uh, visa to eh. Have a letter of support from a business group approved to invest in the support possible startups. Self-employed. Ayan. Ang mga... Meron din cultural activities or athletics. Self-employed program. Rural Northern Immigration Pilot. Ito rin, uh, naririnig ko to sa pagka may smaller communities na kunwari doktor ka, may uh, have a job offer from a designated employer. Oh, okay. May, basta may ano kang job offer ka sa designated employer at sa mga ganitong uh, northern immigration pilot na wala masyadong nakatira uh, correct me if I'm wrong uh, meron silang mga pag if you're a professional doctor meron silang mga allowances and then uh, housing you know, sa mga doctors I think hold the Quebec selection certificate ito rin Quebec skilled worker Quebec entrepreneurs and investors 2140 Tapos yung provincial nominee. And just check out uh, Canada.ca and you could pick which one do you really need para dito sa mag-apply sa Canada. And maraming program ang Canada and they need uh, skilled workers. So, yun lang. Um, maraming nagpupuntahan sa Canada, marami din nag-aalisan dahil yung mga hindi makayanan ba ayan, yung mga umaakyat o oh. umaano sila nandudulas o, oh. ito okay lang yung truck yung, ayan, front wheel drive yun eh pero nakaakyat naka naman siya nahirapan lang, so ayun mga kablogs uh, Canada is will be needing workers because uh, uh, marami ang in the next 5 to 10 years marami ang I think uh, magre-retire tapos marami din uh, kailangan ng mga home support workers so ang Canada is nagpapaaral sila sa mga uh, sa hospital no, mga hospital workers ng healthcare aid libre ata sa kanila uh, on uh, Trudeau government so uh, nag-invest sila ang government to to give education or OJT on the job training sa mga healthcare healthcare aid uh, 
sa mga previous na may mga nursing or child care uh, certificate ayan, na pwede kayong mag-apply sa mga yan si Esme nag uh, nag ano siya nag-consider siya ng yun, sa health care aid kasi habang siya ay nasa uh, disability dahil sa accident nga namin no? so ako rin may tama din ng ulo ko dahil dun <laughs> so yeah but I'm recovering now Uh, but I'm putting mga oil and stuff, mga white flour, uh, efficacent oil. Yan, kasukasuan natin na pagka medyo may midad na tayo. So, sa mga gustong mag-apply, no, just uh, go to Canada.ca. Uh, if you want a DYI, you don't need the, uh, the agency. Because sometimes maraming mga agency, uh, Kukunin mo ng pera nyo pero you know, naghahanap rin sila ng employer na tapos yung employer na kausap nila hindi naman pala sure. So, ikikip lang nila yung perang naibigay nyo na. No? So, don't uh, don't settle for that. Don't give away money until you you get, you know, a certain sure answer or, or makita nyo talaga na andyan na. So the way to uh, avoid being scammed like that is uh, just go check Canada.ca. All right? Yun lang. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, hit that notification bell. And salamat sa panonood. And uh, see you again. Bye for now.